So the problem is not the MEM sensor. It's not this sensor. No. You see this sensor and then goes into this cable. I'm gonna bring the other connector. So this is the MEM MEM sensor. And it goes to this connector and then this piece of wire it goes into the panel, the front panel. I'm gonna bring the front panel here, which I have it open. So this is the front panel. As you can see, I put it on the floor and it's missing from here. So that connector goes somewhere underneath here. There's the connector here. I'm gonna try my best to get it off. Okay, so it goes into this plug here. The problem is you have to make a groove here like somehow drill a hole into this plastic but the most important thing what i found stupidly samsung they run that cable right above of this sharp edge so if your washer works for a while and then stops it's because in time mine i just slide this down first off i'm gonna bring some light So first of all, this wire from the MEM sensor goes to here and goes into this wire. Don't get confused on mine, they look black because I just put some electrical tape on them. But I'll show you where exactly is the problem. I'm just going to try to slide my phone in. So if you look closely, this is the board, that it, the, the main board that it, that it goes underneath. You see this? Jesus. Son of a god damn it. Okay. You see the wire goes like that. It was rubbing against this edge here. So what I did, I cut it here and here and I slide it down and I put it this way. Once I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna install it, I'm gonna make sure this will stay up in the air. So if you'll vibrate, it won't gonna rub against anything, any other sharp edges anymore. But anyway, it was enough to rub against the casing of the wire and create a short. And that would throw that error. So this is how you fix your Samsung washer 8C MEM sensor. Simple. Good luck.